Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, you will learn how to graph rational functions. Number 1. f of x is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 2. Our domain here are all real numbers except those values of x that will make our denominator 0 since it will make our rational expression undefined. So, x except negative 2. Therefore, our vertical asymptote here is the line x is equal to negative 2. An asymptote is a line that the function may approach but does not reach. Let us now plot our vertical asymptote. Since we already have our domain, let us get our range. To get our range, we have to look at the degree of our polynomial equation in the numerator and denominator. Our highest exponent is the degree of polynomial. In the numerator, we have 1 and in the denominator, we have 1. Therefore, n is equal to m where n is the degree of the numerator and m the degree of the denominator. If both degrees are equal, we will just divide our leading coefficients. So y is equal to 1 over 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, this is the line of our horizontal asymptote. This is where we will pattern our range. So our range here is y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to 1. Let us now get our intercepts. Let us start with our x-intercept. We will be getting our x-intercept if we will let our y be equal to 0. So we have here f of x is equal to y, so that's 0 is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 2. Now, we can cross multiply this one since the denominator of our 0 is 1. So we have here 0 multiplied to x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then copy the equal sign. 1 multiplied to x minus 2 is just x minus 2. We will be transposing negative 2 to the other side to get the value of x so we have from negative to positive 2 so we can rewrite this as x is equal to 2 this will be our x intercept now let us proceed on getting our y intercept our y intercept can be taken if we will let our x be equal to 0 so we have here f of x or simply y is equal to 0 minus 2 all over 0 plus 2. So that will be y is equal to negative 2 all over 2. So that is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. This is our y intercept. Now we can plot our intercepts here as a point. So we have here, if our x is 2, our y is 0. If our y is negative 1, our x is 0. Plotting those points, it is here 2, 0 and 0, negative 1. Now let us decide on the values of x in our table of values. We will make our vertical asymptote as our middle ground. So, we can have here these values, negative 5, negative 4, and negative 3. And then, to the right side of negative 2, 
we have negative 1. We cannot anymore consider 0 because there's already a point here. We can consider 1 and 3. So we can now substitute each of our x values here to our given function. But since we can easily do that one using our calculator, I will simply show you the answers. Plotting these points, we have negative 5, 2.3, negative 4, 3, so it's this point, negative 3, 5, so it's beyond here, so this point, and then negative 1, negative 3, this point, and then 1, negative 0 0.3, so this point here, and then 3, positive 0 0.2. Now we will use these dots to create the curve of our rational function. So this is now our graph. We are now on number 2 f of x is equal to x minus 5 all over x squared minus 8x plus 12. Let us first factor this out before we proceed with the graphing. x squared is x times x and then factors of 12 are 12 times 1 will make it both negative since we are looking for a negative middle term. Negative 6 times negative 2. And lastly, we have negative 4 times negative 3. Adding these factors, we have negative 13, negative 8. Therefore, our factors are negative 6 and negative 2. So our domain here, x is an element of real numbers except those values which will make our denominator 0, which are positive 2 and positive 6. Therefore, our vertical asymptotes are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. So we will be plotting our asymptotes here. First is x is equal to 2 and the other one is x is equal to 6. Let us now get our range here. Looking at our degree in the numerator, we have 1. And the degree in our denominator is 2. Therefore, n is lesser than m. In this case, our y is automatically 0. Therefore, our horizontal asymptote is the line y is equal to 0. Which our range will be patterned to that y is an element of real numbers except 0. So let us plot our horizontal asymptote here. y is equal to 0. Now let us proceed on getting our intercepts. Again, let's start with the x-intercept, which we can get if we will let our y be equal to 0. So, f of x is equal to y, so that's 0. And then, copy x minus 5 all over x squared minus 8x plus 12. Now, we can cross multiply since our denominator of 0 is 1. We have here, this will give us a product of 0 and then... 1 times x minus 5 is x minus 5. So we will get the value of x here by transposing. So negative 5 will become positive 5. So that is x is equal to 5. Now let us get our y-intercept by making our x be equal to 0. So that is y is equal to our x is 0 minus 5 all over. 0 squared is just 0, and then that is also 0, plus 12. So we have here, negative 5 all over positive 12. So that is our y-intercept or infraction 
that is negative 0 0.41. So our corresponding points here from the intercepts are 5, 0, and then 0, negative 0 0.41. Plotting these points, we have this, 5, 0, and then the other one is 0, negative 0 0.41. So it's here. Now let us proceed to our table of values. So we have to get two points from these regions. So let's start here. So, our boundary is 2 and our other boundary is 6. So, from this side, we have um, positive 1. We cannot anymore have 0. So, let's have negative 1. And then, from here, we have 3, 4, and then 5 is already in this point. And then, 7, 8. Substituting each of our x values here to our function, we will arrive at these answers. So let us now plot these points we have here. Negative 1 here and then negative 0 0.3. So it's just right above negative 0 0.41. And here 1, negative 0 0.8. So it's this point. And then... We have 3, 0 0.7, so it's this point, and then 4, 0 0.3, so just below here, and then we have 7, 0 0.4, so it's here, and then 8. 0 0.3 so just a little below here and then we will connect all of the dots using a curve make sure you do not pass the asymptotes so these are the curves here of our rational function on this region we have again be careful not to touch the asymptotes and then simply follow the dots and on this last region uh, we will just stop with it and then let's have the arrowheads and this is the graph of our function that is all for today thank you and see you on our next video lesson